This is Lesson 16 of 20 Lessons on How to Build a Joomla Website. This lesson follows on from the previous one, so if you manage to start here, you're in the wrong place. This video is part of a complete Joomla course, so if you've just found us, I recommend you go back to at least Lesson 13. If you're watching this from our website, you'll see the link for this at the side. If you're watching this on a video sharing site, have a look for the playlist for this course. In this lesson, you'll learn how to create a new module and assign it to pages throughout your site. There are various modules built into Joomla and these are accessed by logging into Administrator. And going to Extensions, Module Manager. This is the list of Joomla modules that are included with the sample data. Let's start by creating a menu module to display the menu that was created in the previous lesson. Click New and a pop-up window appears displaying the module types currently available. When you install third-party extensions more options may appear in this list. Click Menu and you return to the main window. Enter a name for the module And in the right column, click the Select Menu drop-down box and choose the appropriate menu. There is one more setting that needs to be specified. If you recall from the front-end lesson, a Joomla template comprises several boxes called Positions. You need to tell Joomla which position should be used to display the module. This is discussed in more detail in Lesson 18. For now, just take my word for it that this Joomla template has a position in the left named Position-7. Click the Select Position button and scroll through the list until you find the appropriate position. Click it to return to the main window and then click Save and Close. Go to the front end and refresh the page. The new menu type has been added to the left and it includes the menu item that was created in the previous lesson. Clicking this link takes you to a page displaying that article. Let's return to the module manager in Administrator. As each type of module provides a unique function, the process of creating a module varies a bit. The basics are always the same though. Click New, choose the module type, in this case let's choose Custom HTML, enter a title, and select the position to display the module. Then enter any other settings applicable to the module. With this particular module, you can enter text or images into the text box, much like a normal article. Once you save the module, and refresh the front end, you'll see the new content. Modules can be displayed on all pages or just pages you specify. Let's return to the custom HTML module. Scroll down and you'll see a large section labelled Menu Assignment. By default, when you create a module, it is set to On All Pages, meaning that the module will be displayed on every page of the site. To change this, set the option to only on the pages selected. You then select the pages where the module should appear. You can start with no pages selected by clicking Clear Selection. Then choose the menu relating to the pages you want to select. In this example, let's choose the About Joomla menu and the first two pages, Getting Started 
and using Joomla. Select those boxes and save. Now return to the home page of the site and note that the Contact Us module has disappeared from the left column. But it does appear on the About Joomla Getting Started page and the Using Joomla page. There is one last thing to consider with modules. Let's say you want to change the display order of your modules. This is done using the Order column. Let's make this a bit easier to work with by changing the Position filter to Position 7. This will now only display the modules that have been assigned to the position named Position 7. Let's say that you always want the Contact Us module to appear at the top of the column. You achieve this using the Ordering column. This feature needs to be initially activated by clicking the actual word Ordering at the top of the column. At that point, you have a choice of two methods. You can either repeatedly click either the up or down arrowhead to move the module into your desired position. Or better still, you can manually enter a number and click this little icon here that looks like a disk. That refreshes the list and positions everything accordingly. Have a look at the front end, refresh, and you'll see that the Contact Us module is now fixed to the top of the column. Up until now, the content I've created has been just text, but images are essential on any website. So in the next lesson, I'll show you how to insert them into your articles and modules. Your exercise for this lesson is to experiment with your site by creating some modules and assigning them to one or all pages. Follow along with our workbook available from our homepage at www.buildajoomlawebsite.com.